Friday, two Friday podcasts, episode one. You know what I mean? We just got done talking about the difference between the cheating a liar and the lying a cheater. And I hope everybody got a good understanding of that now. Now that we discussed it, now I feel like we can move on to something else. Let's talk about duties in the house. Now it's 2021, and everybody say that, not everybody, because I ain't gonna categorize stuff and say that I know, but not everybody, but a lot of people is on the equalization, like equal rights, equal men and women thing, right? Saying men and women should be equal. And of course, nobody disagrees with that. Men and women should have equal rights. Now, I think we'll come along with talking about men and women's rights. I think it should be some obvious givens. Niggas ain't expecting y'all ladies to do nothing that don't make no sense unless he just really trying to be petty. Ain't no dude trying to expect y'all to do nothing that don't make no sense unless he trying to be petty. Now I said it twice so you understand. Hey, if a dude thought you trying to do something that don't make no sense, then he's trying to be petty. I can't imagine you being with a dude so weak as to think that it's really just should be an equal thing. Like, like as to say, like, if you hear a noise outside at the door, or just hear a noise outside, ain't no dude really gonna send this lady out outside to go check the noise to see what's going on. Any man that does it, you know it's not a man, right? It's not a joke because it could be a serious situation. So if you wish with a dude that's on that kind of level of equality to an old man where there's some noise outside, you go check it too. Or baby, go empty the trash, go dump the dumpster. You know what I mean? You can go do that too. If that's the kind of dude you got, then that's the kind of dude you need to want. But you need to be able to wear the pants in a relationship if that's the kind of dude you're gonna have. It ain't no, we both gonna be sensitive, feminine. No, equality means you need to be able to lift up where the other one is weak at. <laughs> uh, I ain't saying, hey, yeah, see, you thought I was gonna tell you you ain't gotta take the trash out of nothing. No, I ain't saying that. I'm saying that somebody gonna have to be the pants well, and somebody gonna have to uh, whatever other outfit you decide to wear if the other person don't wanna wear pants. Y'all got to trade that. That's so be it. I'm sorry to say, ladies. Now, me, myself, and I, I'm the type of guy that for my lady, I'm sure that I'll be quick to take out the trash. It won't matter. I'm going to be quick to jump up to check on the noise out there that's going on. If the tire go flat, I'll be quick to be the one to change the tire. Yes. If we pull up to the gas pump, I'm going to be the one to get out and pump the gas. Yes, that is me. But... Since it's 2021, this isn't the way that the world is going to be working anymore in the future. There's a lot of men out here that are, that's smaller than these women now. These women getting BBLs. They getting TTLs. You know what I mean? They getting a bunch of lifts, hydraulics put in, all kind of stuff put in. A lot of these women coming out built up stronger more forward tough than these dudes is now so they yeah some of their weight gonna have to go on y'all back I guess I guess that's what's gonna happen so be careful who you choose because it's a new year you discuss you gotta work on communication which one of y'all gonna wear the pants in the relationship is somebody gonna wear it all the time or is y'all gonna swap pants sometime y'all gonna share pants sometime because if you're thinking about sharing pants, it's just not gonna work. I ain't never seen two people sharing pants for a day. I seen two people try to put on the same pair of pants and stand still in the same spot because you ain't getting nothing done like that. So which one of y'all gonna wear the pants at what time? Discuss stuff like that when you're walking on the road. Who gonna walk on the side of the road where the car coming? Which one of y'all is the one that's gonna get hit and paralyzed if the car hits you? I gotta discuss stuff like that. Somebody gotta get paralyzed. Both of y'all can't be okay. 
who's going to be the one to get hit by the car? That's the question. Who get hit by the car? That's how we want to know. Shoot. That's what all I got to say about that. You know what I mean? Also, 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 that entails other things like when you're talking about finances. People complain about finances. You know why you complain about finances? Do you want to know why you're complaining about finances? It's because you want to do stuff besides your financial range. Sometimes we do stuff outside of our financial range. You have to figure out what your financial range is and figure out what the person you want to talk to financial range is and see if you can even reach their financial range if, they, if you need or to, even on a special occasion. Because your financial range might be a lot lower than theirs. Or let's say your financial range is higher than their financial range and their financial range is lower than yours. So then you settle for, you have a minimum requirement that you settle for in regards to what financial ranges can bring in life. And what I mean by that, let's say like you go and you and you want to go buy some products, but people with different financial ranges buy different products at different stores, if you understand what I mean. You know what I'm saying? People with a lower financial range, as I say, might be shopping for a product that's, that might not be as of high quality as people with a higher financial range are used to. And what I mean by that is, if you have a higher financial range, and let's say you're going to get used to get tissue that costs this top of the line, shoot, you know what I mean? Tier, to God tier tissue, you know what I mean? Two, two million thread count, or whatever in the tissue, where you got double, double, triple, super, quadruple layers on it. And that is so thick that you can lay it on top of your body at night and stay warm. Some people buy tissue that costs that much money, and that's the tissue they need for their body. Whereas people with a lower financial range, like, you know what I mean, go to the Dollar Tree store, Dollar Tree, get them some tissue for a dollar, two dollars, boom, boom. Last them a few days, and again, perfectly fine. Might take a little extra, mm. you know what I mean? On the road, so your finger don't go through. Yeah, you might leave with a little bit of, you know what I mean, tissue dust up on it. You got to blow off. Probably got to take a bath after we get done wiping with that tissue because you're going to leave some. But that's just the financial range that they in. And that's stuff people don't discuss if they decide to get serious with somebody. Now, financial range is not necessarily important to somebody you're not planning on getting serious with. But if you are planning on getting serious with a person, financial range is something real serious and it's something that you need to discuss because the last thing you want to do is have an imbalance in financial ranges with a person when you decide to do things that matter or when you need certain products. Trust me. Trust me. That's all I got to say about that. That's all I got to say about that. I'm dropping gems on you. I'm going to keep dropping gems on you. You ain't know I had all this, but this is just the tip of the iceberg. This is the freestyle, baby. It's just how we do. You don't see no pen or no notepad. You don't see nothing to none of that. This is this is me. We're going to the top. I'm three subscribers away from a thousand subscribers on YouTube. Wasn't, wasn't extremely hard. You want me to say it was extremely hard? No, it wasn't extremely hard. Let me tell you what it took. It takes consistency, man. It takes consistency. It takes to. It takes understanding that it's not all about you. It's about the world. You sending stuff out there to the world. So it's about what the world likes. It's about what's popular to the world. 
now of course you can market and brand your stuff and your ideas put what you like out there only but what you like out there only only got a certain demographic that it can reach probably or the demographic that you got might not be you know what i mean heavily involved or it already might be set to where yours is not really you know or it could be old you want to stay in the mix stay in the mix Stay knowing what's going on. Stay up to date. See what people's interests are. Who they be with. What number to dial. What's gonna make them smile. Uh, uh, uh. And another one. I'm gonna make you do. I'm gonna make you spread like mustard. Okay. I got off topic. I got off topic. Talk about the thousand subscribers. Stay consistent. Post every single day. And I ain't talking about just the video or whatever. Like, don't sit down all day trying to think of what to post. Just post. I don't care if you're posting reaction videos. Post videos of, of your pet. Post. Just post videos. You can post a video of you cleaning. Your favorite food. Do a food review. If it's just something you want to do. I think it's important to just keep posting every single day because you never know what's going to gain traction or attention. If you're watching something interesting and it's something that you can catch, it's like, oh, man, I think this is big what they're saying. Maybe record that, speak on it, post it. That's what you want to do. Just keep posting it. Don't ever stop posting. Uh, just stay consistent. Keep grinding. Sooner or later, you have to realize that you can't be afraid of the camera. You can't run from it. All you got is the day that you got. Tomorrow's not promised. And for me, it's like a, if I was to be gone today, I'd leave so much content behind. Not all of it gotta be perfect, but it's just come out content. People get to see it for the people that care about me, people that love me, or the people that don't know me yet. They come across me, they're like, oh man, this is interesting. All the people that I could possibly help I might say something or do something that motivates or helps somebody. It's important for you to post for that reason. It ain't just for yourself, it's for other people. So the more you do it, uh, the easier it gets. Uh, some days you'll be tired. You might not want to do it. You might not have the energy, but then on those days, it might be your best work. So do it anyways. Um, don't give up on yourself. Stay putting positive energy out in the world, and you gotta manifest. Don't stop manifesting. We manifest in health, wealth, success, joy, and for all those that need the love. A lot of people ain't got enough love in their life. And some of y'all don't know how to get it. That's out there. You deserve it. So don't stop. Don't stop thinking that you deserve it. Don't think that you're not good enough for it. You're good enough for it. Just keep doing you. Keep trying to better yourself. Learn how to better yourself. Don't think that you can always do it on your own. You search out resources. They can teach you how to better yourself sometimes. That's what you have to do. You can't teach yourself new things all the time. Sometimes you have to go to where it already is. It's already accessible, where the knowledge is. And you, then you take it in. You ain't gonna gain the knowledge that you want by telling yourself nothing, because you don't know it. And that's what life, that's what a lot of things are. If it's something you wanna do, then work hard at it the best you can. Now, um, it's not going to always be easy, of course. It's a process. We want it today. We want to win today. I want to win today. But we all going to look back one day and say that, hey, I'm in a better position than I was then. And I'm happy that I continue to have growth. And um, I'm proud of myself. That's how you want to be proud of yourself. Keep spreading love to each and everybody you come across. And don't take life so seriously all the time if you be up you don't work. You know what I mean? If your job is that bad, go find a new job. If that's the only option you got in the area, I mean at the moment, meditate, work out, drink more water, figure out ways to get your mental health balanced and you'll realize to capture the moment to understand that I'm not in such a bad position. This is the best thing I have for me right now until I get a better option. 
come back and start searching for it, whether to the end, I'm gonna nail down, focus, and do what I gotta do to be successful in what I'm doing until another opportunity presents itself. But when it does, I'll be ready. That's what you wanna tell yourself. I believe in you, you believe in yourself. And this is just the beginning. It's always just the beginning, because every day is a new opportunity. You know what I mean? Look at your family, tell them you love them, tell your friends you love them, tell the strangers you love them. Be kind to everybody, because you never know who's gonna be the one to help lift you up, or they can put you in a position, or they can somebody that you possibly need one day. You just never know. So that's definitely a message for you. Sending out love to you again. always remember that it's your dream, it's your dream, so chase it.